So ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's video. Today I'll be showing you how you can uh, create a page connected to an autoresponder that will collect the emails and the, and the details from the subscribers and then we can send them on to the next action that we want them to take. So we'll just create a, quickly a page. In uh, group pages, we click on blocks. We'll just go to wireframes and choose a form that we want to use. I'll just use this one with the, with the phone at this moment. I'll just edit the button size. Here we go. So we have two form fields. One is name, one is email, and then we have a button subscribe. We'll just edit all of these quickly. So we'll go to name, we'll click on the form, we'll click the configure here in the upper right hand corner, and then we'll just type in as an input field name, as an input name name, and then the placeholder is basically the text that you see in the form. So we'll just leave this as name and add validation rule, it needs to be text. And then if somebody wants to subscribe or submit a form, I don't want that, uh, I don't want the, the form field to be empty. So input cannot be empty, I will choose that. Okay, so it's updated, we'll click one more time so that it saves. When the box is removed, then it's, then it's updated, we'll click save. Okay, so we'll do the same for the for the email form. So email, we click upper right hand corner configure and for as an input ID, we'll just type in email. Input name, we'll type email. So these details are for your autoresponder for your email software. Uh, so if you don't do this, then your autoresponder software will not know what form type it is, what is basically that we're sending, what kind of information we're sending uh, to it. So email, okay, add validation rules, we want it to be email and it cannot be empty. So let's update it quickly, here we go, and then we'll just click update one more time, and of course guys always save your work. So the last thing we need to do is just to edit the subscribe button, I want it to say sign up, sign up and we want it to be submit. Okay, updated one more time so that the box uh, leaves and then save. Perfect, so now we have this edited. The next step is the most important. We will click outside everything. You can see this is called form container. Form container is basically a container that holds all the all the assets from the form. So the input boxes and the button. So we clicked on the form container, we'll go and to configure it. So there can be two actions. One is post, we'll do a, a video later on on that one, but now we want to use an integration. We integrated this test video with my MailChimp account. I created a, a testing MailChimp account. We'll just use that one for the moment. I have one list that is called affiliate marketing. So now we clicked on this, we can uh, decide where we want to send the people that subscribe to our, our list or uh, that filled out this form when they uh, click the sign up, where do we want to send them? So do we want to send them to a different page? Do we want to send them on a blog? The, if, if you have a, a long, long page here or on a website, we can send them to a specific block down the, down the page. Uh, if you want to send them to a, a specific URL, let's say in case you're an affiliate marketer and you want the, you want to send the, the customers that filled out this form towards um, the, the offer that you're promoting, you can do that one as well. Or you can put a pop-up saying you subscri successfully subscribed, uh, we sent you the, the free ebook in your email, you will receive it in your email or something like that. But for this demonstration, I will just choose a page. So I created a, a thank you page. This is a simple page from a template that you can choose uh, from the templates gallery. So link page, thank you. We'll update, click one more time so that this goes away, save and then click publish. So let's go in and then just see what we created. Okay, so we have a form here, name, email, sign up. So let's just quickly fill this in with some uh, some details. Sign up, subscribed, and it popped us to a thank you page. This is the page that I created here for the demonstration purpose, just from the template. 
Okay, so this is it, guys. I hope you learned something uh, useful. You can use this in your business to create lovely uh, websites, landing pages, to promote your affiliate offers. And you can do all this with just a couple of clicks and an integration to an autoresponder that you already have. Or if you don't have, you can just sign up uh, for MailChimp or, or any of these. They all have free uh, free accounts that you can register for and then basically use it uh, for your business straight away. Uh, I hope you learned something useful from this one and then see you in the group. Bye-bye.